Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about today's video because I'm going to be showing you how to get faux acrylic nails without using any acrylic. I've been doing this since I was 13 years old. I didn't have any money to get my nails done. So I came up with this method and it works really well. I'm going to be showing you all the reasons why this is actually better for your nails. So I hope you guys enjoy. Give it a thumbs up and let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is prep my nails and I always like to do this before I'm giving myself a manicure. This is something they're going to do in a salon for you most of the time. Maybe not with an acrylic full set, but with a manicure they always make your nails look beautiful. So I'm going to do the same thing. I know you've already got most of the things in this tutorial at home, but if you don't have any clear tips, these are about four to six dollars and you're going to need them for this extension look. I'm going to be extending the nail, so of course we need something fake to put on. And this is a really, really fun part for me because it looks super natural the way that I do it. Now most of the time they're going to fit your nail like this, much too big, and it's going to end up looking really thick and chunky. That's one of the things I hate about acrylics. I hate this trend of like really thick, oversized acrylics. It looks so unnatural and I really love a feminine looking hand. For me, I like to use something that's a little bit smaller, something that actually looks a little bit small in the nail, and this ends up making the nails so dainty and beautiful, and it goes straight down, which is what you want. So I'm going to take a little drop of glue and then put that nail over top and press down for about 20 seconds until it's dry. I'm going to repeat this on all of the nails, and one of the best things you can do is just try on different sizes, but make sure that you don't pressure yourself to use a different size tip for every single nail. In my opinion, not every finger is massively different in size, therefore you don't really need to size up or down every single finger, maybe just the pinky and the thumb. Now that you have these crazy long claws, you want to make sure that you trim them right away before you start working on your other hand at least. So you want to cut them and don't cut them slowly like this, it just hurts. Make sure that you go in with your scissors and just snap it off really, really quick. That's the proper way to do it. And I always recommend with everything, whether you're cutting your hair or your nails, make them a little bit longer than you think you want them because you can always file them down. And of course we're going to need to shape these bad boys, so you don't want to make them too short. Now we're going to start working on the actual acrylic look. I'm taking some cornstarch and I'm mixing it in with that little bit of clear polish I have on my tray. And I'm going to be using a brush to apply this just to the area between the acrylic nail or the nail tip and my natural nail. If you've ever had acrylics, let me know what your experience is. For me, every single time they use that drill to buff my nails down, of course it hurts because it takes off like four layers of nail and it's very painful the next day especially. So with this tutorial, you're saving your nails the damage and I'm using this as a barrier between the tip and my natural nail. So when I use that file to blend that nail tip in with my natural nail, it's going to be really smooth looking, but I'm also protecting the nail by having that hardened cornstarch on top just in that small area. You're going to need a file for this tutorial and I thought I'd include this because I'm not sure if you know, but you don't need to buy a new file when yours gets really dull. All you have to do is wash it using some water and just rub it with your finger. It turns out completely brand new and you're going to have like a really sharp file so I recommend doing this with whatever file you have and don't worry about buying a new one. So now what you need to do is smooth out that tip. You don't have to worry about filing your natural nail, there's really no reason, but what I'm doing is angling my file upwards and I'm really focusing on that tip so I'm going to try and smooth it so it matches my nail. Right now it's just a little bit raised and if we were to just go ahead and do a manicure over top of this it would look really silly. So I'm going to keep working on this and I'm really focusing on the sides and the front. I'm going to show you what it looks like up close in a second. And as you can see this cornstarch is starting to like dissolve and it's starting to flake off and that's perfect. It's doing its job, it's protecting my nail, and when you see the result, you're gonna see how my nail isn't damaged and everything looks really smooth and natural. These haven't been shaped, so they look really silly, but if you just focus on the nail bed itself, it's a smooth transition from nail bed to extension, and that is exactly what you want. Now it's up to you to shape your nails and decide what kind of shape you want. You could go for a coffin, square, oval, squoval. There's so many different styles, and if you guys want to see like a stiletto tutorial, those ones are a little bit more difficult, so I would definitely do one of those for you. Once you are in love with the way that your nails look, you can move on to base coat, and this is always an important step, and especially with this faux acrylic look, we want to make sure that everything's really smooth smooth and glossy. So I'm going to apply one layer, wait for that to dry, and then I'm going to apply a second layer, but this time it's just going to go on the area where my natural nail bed is showing, so not the tip. I'm just doing this for a little bit of extra blending. Now you can choose the nail polish color, you can either do a design or a full on color, you can do whatever you want with this look which is awesome. And I used white tips for this tutorial but I would recommend using clear ones because that's going to look much better. I just wanted you guys to be able to see what I was doing. So I'm going to be applying two coats of nail polish as always and if you haven't seen my how to paint your nails perfectly tutorial, you have to watch that video. I'm going to link it below and it's going to change your life. Now I'm going to wait for these to dry, apply a top coat and they're completely done. I'm going to go over some frequently asked questions because 
because there's so many things to know about these nails. They are just so much better than acrylics. And I've been doing this since I was 13 years old. I came up with this method, so you're not gonna find this tutorial anywhere else. I'm really happy to answer your questions, so feel free to leave some below. Some of the things I think you might be wondering, how long did these last? They last about a week, sometimes a little bit more, like eight, nine days, and they don't look bad as they grow out because of course you don't have any acrylic or plastic on your nails, so you just need some nail polish remover and you can take these bad boys off super easily. I'm gonna list why these are awesome because there's so many different reasons. One of the main ones is that you're not buffing the nail down so you're not damaging it. When you take these off, your nails are just as healthy as when you started. This is a much better option and in my opinion, they look much more natural and beautiful. I'm gonna be answering all your questions in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you think you might be trying this and show me on Instagram at Alexandra's Girly Talk, hashtag look Alexandra so I can like your photos. I can't wait to see you guys' recreations. It's gonna look amazing. Love you guys, I'll see you soon.